In this lecture, we will continue the Laplace transform. We will use a voltage-dependent source to create Laplace transform. The voltage-dependent voltage source can be found as a component symbol as E or E2. It has two control terminals and the output voltage terminals. The only difference between E and E2 is that the input terminal's uh, polarity is opposite. The syntax is shown here. Uh, we put E source. This is the output node plus, output node minus, control node plus, control node minus, Laplace transfer from equations. It is not that important right now because we are using graphical user interface to set up the E source. This is our first example. We are going to use a voltage-dependent voltage source in AC analysis using the same example as we shown before. So this is the same example of low-pass filter. We have found R1, R2, and C1 as design parameters. We got AC source here as input. So now we put E1 source here. So the control terminals is connected to V in, and the negative terminal is connected to the ground. So we want to duplicate the transfer function just using the Laplace transform put in the syntax here into E1. So this is the transfer function we are going to build called G. Uh, we have DC gain G0 and a, a one single pole omega P. So if we right click over E1, we can see uh, the Laplace equation, we put it as value here. Laplace equals to G0 uh, slash 1 plus S slash omega P. This is the, exactly the equation here. Uh, in this case, we use parameters to make it easy to read. So we have two parameters. Uh, the first one is G0 as 0 0.1. G0, that's the DC gain. The second one is omega P. We put the WP, which is... Uh, 2 times pi times 1k, and the LT spy support the constant. For example, we can use pi as pi constant. So how to set up the parameters just as we did, we can use a hot key S to put the spy derivative here, and we type dot param as the parameter g0 equals to 0 0.1, wp equals to 2 times pi times 1k. So by doing so, we can define the parameters here. So these parameters can be further used in the Laplace transform to make the whole setup easy to read. We use the same AC analysis. So the AC amplitude is 1 here. So V1 is the AC disturbance as the input for the system. So we measure Vsense here. This is our uh, output voltage from the RC uh, low-pass filter. And this is the E1 source. We want to compare these two output to see if there are any difference. So our goal is to make sure the E sense Laplace matches very well with V sense, which it does. In the body plot, we can see the uh, V sense Laplace is overlapping with V sense in this case. That means this Laplace works very well as we expected. As shown in the previous lecture, if we put different AC amplitude, the output voltage will be shifted up or down. For example, on the right-hand side, the AC amplitude is reduced to 0 0.1. So that means the magnitude at output will be shifted as well, which means minus 20 dB. In this case, we see the body plot magnitude is smaller than the one before on the left-hand side by 20 dB. In summary, if the AC amplitude is not 1, you have to explicitly put V out over V in to get the accurate transfer function. In this example, we put Laplace and E source in transient simulation. This is the same setup. We put transient simulation here. You can see the Vsense and Vsense Laplace have the same output voltage and they are overlapping. The conclusion is low-pass filter circuit and the Laplace transform in E source give the identical results. This is the third example to use voltage-dependent current source. This is a similar idea 
as voltage dependent voltage source, but this time we change to current source. The input terminals are the same. We have control terminals and output is current source instead of voltage source. The difference between G and G2 is the input polarity. In this case, we put a G source in series with 1 ohm resistor as a load, and we measure the output voltage over this 1 ohm resistor. We put the same Laplace transform equations here into the G1 source and put the same parameter here. The output voltage is equivalent to the voltage source as before and it gives the same result. So this is the body plot in AC analysis. Here is a reference I used for this topic. Thank you very much. See you next time.